The final muscle of the rotator cuff is the subscapularis. We will also be working the serratus anterior during this time. You can see the subscapularis is connected to the shoulder blade, but between the ribs and shoulder blade making it difficult to access. The serratus anterior connects to the ribs and also the vertebral border of the same part of the shoulder blade. So let's work these simultaneously. Using the massage stick against the wall, we're going to press it directly into the side of the ribs just in front of the shoulder blade. Maintaining that pressure, you can rotate the arm or raise the arm up in the air, allowing the serratus anterior and subscapularis to press into the massage stick. Perform these actions seven to 10 times in a spot and move on to additional tender spots as needed. The pec major originates from the clavicle through the sternum and then inserts outside on the humerus. The pec minor inserts from the third, fourth, and fifth rib up to the acromion process. When these two muscles are over facilitated, they pull the shoulders forward. So let's take a look at how to release these muscles, enabling you to pull your shoulders down and back to the appropriate alignment. We're going to work with the massage stick against the wall, pressing the end of the massage stick directly into the belly of the pec minor muscle. The focus here is to work through the pec major and pull your shoulders backwards, stretching the pec minor. When you have done seven to 10 repetitions, pulling the shoulders down and back, you will begin to extend your arm overhead, allowing the muscle to roll underneath the pressure of the massage stick. Perform seven to 10 more repetitions through this range of motion. Always remember to perform these exercises on both sides to ensure equal release.